welcome to another edition of brain maths on today's edition we want to look at how to solve a problem given in base that is we have 315 in base x and another number also in base x equal to another number that is also in base x so we want to find the value of our base x so for us to solve this kind of problem all you have to do is to expand each of these numbers with the given base you expand each one of them in their given base so we have 315 in base x 0 1 2 don't forget that minus 2 2 3 in base x with power 0 1 2 as well which is equal to 7 2 in base x also having their powers so the next thing is to expand each one of these using the base so we have 3 times x raised to power 2 plus 1 times x raised to power 1 plus 5 times x raised to power 0 minus then this next one will be a nested expansion so we are going to open a bracket for this because this minus belongs to all of this not only to the two or the three so we have two times x raised to power two plus two times x raised to power one plus three times x raised to power zero equal to then you expand this one as well we have seven times x raised to power one plus two times x raised to power zero so let's try to bring all these numbers together so three times x squared will give us three x squared plus x raised to power 1 is x 1 times x is x plus x raised to power 0 is 1 1 times 5 is 5 minus x squared times 2 will give us 2x squared plus x raised to power 1 times 2 will give us 2x plus x raised to power 0 is 1 times 3 that will give us 3 equals to x raised to power 1 is 7 uh, 1 x times 7 that will give us 7 x and x raised to power 0 is 1 times 2 that will give us 2 so the next thing is to open the bracket this bracket so we have 3 x squared plus x plus 5 minus the minus will now multiply everything inside the bracket so we have 2x squared minus times plus will give us minus 2x minus times plus will give us minus 3 equals 7x plus 2 so in this case we are going to collect all the like times so we have one with power of 2 another one here and we have some variables with only a power of one and we have some constants so let's bring all the like times together so we have three x squared what's the the sign in front of this is negative so you carry it with its sign minus two x squared so there is no other number with a power of two then we take the one with powers of one the first one is plus x then we have minus 2x then if you come to this side you will see minus up 7x which is positive so when it comes to the other side it becomes minus 7x so there is no other number with power of 1 again so we are left with the constants and the first one here is plus 5 followed by minus 3 if you bring this in 
you have minus 2 equals to 0. So if you try to solve this, you have x squared plus x minus 2x. That will give us minus 1. Minus 1 minus 7. That will give us minus 8x. And then we have 5 minus 3. That will give us 2. And 2 minus 2 will give us 0. So we are left with 0. So what we have to do here is just to collect like times again. What is common to these two? That is x into what is left here? x minus 8 equals to 0. So if we try to solve this further, we are going to have x equals to 0. Only this one equated to 0. Or then the second one, x minus 8 equals to 0. So this one is x equal to 0 or x equals to 8. So therefore, our real value for this is x equals to 8. Don't forget that there is nothing like a base of 0. Solve these set questions on the board. The first one says 1 to 1 in base 5 equals to 100 in this x. So we are going to look for the value of x. So following our expansion method. So for the first one, we have 1 times 5. Don't forget that you'll do your expansion with the base. Raised to power 2 plus 2 times 5 raised to power 1 plus 1 times 5 raised to power 0 equals to then the next one 1 times x raised to power 2 plus 0 times x raised to power 1 plus 0 times x raised to power 0 so 5 raised to power 2 is 25 25 times 1 will give us 25 plus 5 raised to power 1 is 5 times 2 will give us 10 plus 5 raised to power 0 is 1, and 1 times 1 will give us 1. So coming to the other side, x squared times 1 will give us x squared. x raised to power 1 is x, multiplied by 0 will give 0, and x raised to power 0 is 1 times x will still give 0. So let's try to add all these numbers together. We have 35 plus 1, that is 36, equals to x squared so we have a squared here and we have a whole number on this side so what we have to do now is to find the square root of both sides so that we'll leave this square and then we have only x so that gives so on this side the squared we cancel the square root so we are left with x and on this side, the square root of 36 is actually 6. So therefore, x is in base 6. Now, let's quickly try to solve the second one. Let's give them their powers, 0 and 1. So for the first one, we are expanding with base x. So we have 2 times x raised to power 2 plus 0 times x raised to power 1 plus 4 times x raised to power 0 equals, we are expanding this one with base 8. We have 6 times 8 raised to power 1 plus 6 times 8 raised to power 0. So if we try to expand this out, x squared times 2 will give us 2x squared plus x power 1 is x times 0, that is 0 x raised to power 0 is 1 times 4. That will give us 4 on this side. And then x 8 raised to power 1 is 8 times 6. That is 48. And then 8 raised to power 0 is 1 times 6. That is 6. So the next thing is to collect like times. So on this side, the only variable we have there is x. 
examine a power of 2. So we have 2x squared standing on its own. Then take this 4 to the other side. So if the 4 is coming to the other side, on this side we have 48 plus 6. That will give us 54. Then the positive 4 will become negative 4. So we have 2x squared equals 54 minus 4. That is equal to 50. So let's try to simplify this. We have 2x squared equals 50. So the first thing you will do is to divide both sides by the coefficients of x squared, which is 2. So how many 2 can we get in? 50, that is 25. 2 here, 1, 2 in 50, 25. So we have x raised to power 2, just like what we have done on this side. So we are going to find the square root of both sides, and that is x squared, the square root of x squared, and the square root of 25. So the square root and squared cancel out each other, so we are left with x equals to 5. I am going to leave you with this question. Try to solve it on your own. Come up with your own solution. Write your answer in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Subscribe and also turn on the notification so that you will be among the first to be notified when we release a new video. Until I come your way next time, have a wonderful day. Thank you.